We're in the Virginia City Cemetery, checking out some of the old monuments. And there's some newer, newer stones and burials here. This this guy was buried in 2002. But there's a lot of older stones, and there's some really cool ones up on the front. Here you can see the Virginia City skyline. You can see the V. You see a lot of the the waste from the mining operations here. And then you see the churches and the, the school museum is down there. Anyway, it's been a day in Virginia City checking it out. Pretty cool. A little windy today. Lots of Masonic um, symbols in this cemetery. Let's see, there's another one. Mason. Check out this old stone. Eighteen ninety-one when he died. Doesn't have their year of birth. They may not have known their year of birth. It says native of Maine. A lot of the older stones have where they're from. But look at the design of the stone. It's pretty cool. I'm sure you can probably get stones like that today, but they probably cost a lot and probably not a whole lot of people make them look again. You see the Masonic symbol. Can't really read that stone. It wasn't engraved very well. It's a more modern stone. This is more modern here. It's marble. This is a lot. A lot of money went into this. Might be granite. Granite case around the burial plot to keep it from probably to keep it from washing out coming down this mountain. This little hill prevent erosion. These are those long veteran tablets you see like in Arlington and places like that. That's your typical veteran stone. This guy was World War II. He was born in 1915. He died in 1956, 1911, and 1982. Family name Evans. There's this obelisk up here at the top of this hill in the center of the cemetery. This one's probably just an urn. They probably just, they probably, she probably got cremated and they put her ashes there is what I'd be my guess. This one's like a tomb. This guy, age 72, this is one of the oldest, oldest people in the cemetery that we've seen so far. He was 72 when he passed. Yes. And here's this thing. It's almost like a marker or some kind. I don't see any inscriptions on it. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, look. Captain Edward Ferris. Another Masonic symbol. 1828. 1860, so he was 32 years old. For whom Story County was named. So whoever this guy was, he's got this nice phallic symbol mark in his spot. Here's another Mason. Can't read. 
the whole stone because it's broke off. The bottom half broke off. It said it was born in 1832, though. Check this one out. This one's a big. Eighteen seventy one. She was twenty four years and three months and twelve days. Yeah, there's lots of young women in this cemetery. It was probably a very harsh life. This one's 62 years, so she lived, she had a long life by their standards. Denard A. Pearl, 1913-1918, she was five years old. To where a lot of the old stones are. We haven't even looked at all of them. Look at all the ornate stones. Lots of Masonic art and symbols to this town. There's a Masonic lodge right in the middle of Virginia City, so I guess it's still controlled by this fraternity. 1917, 1951, 1960, New Hampshire. Six weeks old. Charles W. died August 10th, 1865, age six weeks. here Masonic symbol that one was 89 years old that one was 12 years old this one was 12? why is there so much people that died young? that one? Yeah, there's lots of reasons people die but the whole world was a lot harsher could have been anything Accident and couldn't get, you know, there was ho probably no hospitals. Could have been just an accident, could have been they could have got sick, something with their breathing. Eight years old, is that what it says, or 38 years old? That's a nice stone. Look at that. Stone. That one, that guy right there, four years old. So, Virginia City Cemetery, you get the idea. I'll check this one out, this is a little bit different. 1913, 25 years old.
winter.